How to lose weight while sleeping. Losing weight takes a lot of effort. You need regular exercise, a healthy diet, and maybe even a gym membership. However, once in a while, you stumble on something that makes the whole process a tad bit easier. In today's video, we'll be teaching you how to lose weight while sleeping to help you shed those few extra pounds you've gained during the lockdown. But before we move on, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos. Contrary to what lots of people think, sleep is not a state of your absolute inactivity. Yeah, consciously your body may not be active, but behind the scenes, your body is taking on a night shift. While you are asleep, your body does a lot of work, including repairing cells and tissues, consolidating memories while rebooting the neural networks of the brain, and recharging your immune system. To do all of these, your body requires energy. So contrary to what many people think, you actually burn calories while you sleep. It is estimated that a person who weighs 150 pounds could burn just over 440 calories over a seven hour night's rest. This tells us one thing, that quality rest is critical to your weight loss regime. With this in mind, we only need to help our body rest well and effectively as it burns calories while we sleep. And here are seven steps to help you achieve just that. Number seven, limit blue light exposure. Blue light affects the quality of our sleep in no small measure. It actively decreases and delays melatonin production in our bodies, which induces sleep, and it alters our daily biorhythm, causing them to go out of sync. All these ultimately result in poor quality sleep. Sunlight naturally contains this blue light, which is why most people sleep better at night when the sun is down. However, in the 21st century, we have an even greater blue light threat, the little digital screens we are so accustomed to. Blue light is found in high concentrations in digital screens and many other common light sources, including LEDs and fluorescent lights. In a world where we are so much in love with our iPhones and iPads, you can imagine how much blue light we are exposed to on a daily basis. Now we're not saying you should become a monk and abandon all screens, far from that, how will you watch our videos? However, research has shown that exposure to blue light between the hours of 9 to 11 p.m. is the most detrimental. It significantly reduces melatonin production and shortens your sleep time. This is bad for our weight loss plan. We want our bodies relaxed and ready to go to work while we sleep. To achieve this, try to avoid digital screens for at least one to two hours before bed. The old fashioned way of reading a book to sleep is by far a healthier option. And yes, you can use a Kindle. Those e-ink screens don't give off any blue light. Number six, hit the bed early. The demands of our daily schedules make it difficult to get the much required quality sleep. The world has become very fast paced and working long hours is encouraged. While we certainly don't think you should be lazy, overworking yourself is not a better option, especially if you want to lead a healthy life. You have to make a conscious effort to get long quality sleep. Apart from that, sleeping late is often accompanied by late night eating. When you combine these two, you're practically undoing any work your body would have done while sleeping. The easiest way to combat the temptation to grab that ice cream or dig into that pack of potato chips is to go to bed early. By sleeping early, you're basically eliminating the temptation altogether rather than having to battle the cravings. It will take some effort and some self-discipline, but know that it is entirely possible to sleep early every day. Like the famous saying goes, early to bed, early to rise. Number five, sleep in a cool bedroom. A cool bedroom leaves you relaxed and promotes restful sleep. In a cool bedroom, you are more likely to fall asleep and wake up less frequently at night. A cool ambience also promotes more calorie burning. Studies have shown that colder environments stimulate the production of beige and brown fats, which help to burn more energy while protecting your metabolic health. Also, in a cool room, your body is forced to burn more calories to keep warm. So temperature-wise, you should have your room to be around 62 to 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Number four, ditch the clothes. Sleeping without your clothes on is a great way to lower your body's temperature as nighttime approaches, which makes falling asleep easier. As a result, you'll be able to sleep more comfortably and avoid restlessness in your sleep. This will help you to burn more calories and increase calorie burning fats in your system. Number three, activate your body's calorie burning fat. There are calorie burning fats that burn energy rather than store them. They are called thinning fats. They burn calories while aiding insulin to help regulate blood sugar. Two of these types of fat are called brown fat and beige fat, and rather than store energy, they work to aid your body's metabolism. 
Research has shown that brown fat in humans is linked to lower body mass, while beige fat has been discovered to activate proteins that burn calories while generating heat in the body. Thankfully, sleep contributes to the increase of these calorie-burning fats. According to research, the sleep hormone called melatonin contributes to the increase of brown fats and beige fat. This means that having healthy, sufficient, and effective sleep, which increases the production of melatonin, will consequently increase the presence of these calorie-burning fats. Also, beige fat and brown fats are temperature sensitive. The cooler your body is, the more stimulated they become. In fact, research has shown that sleeping in cool environments can trigger your body to convert white fats to these thinning fats through a process called browning. Number two, get early light exposure daily. By getting early light exposure in the day, you are able to strengthen your 24-hour circadian rhythms. This happens because early light contributes to the decline of melatonin in your body. As melatonin levels drop, you get more energized and your body goes into full calorie burning mode throughout the day. Early morning light also helps to maintain your daily biorhythms. These biorhythms are responsible for your sleep and wake patterns. Ensuring your sleep and wake patterns are in sync promotes more healthy and restful sleep making your sleep more efficient and consequently easier for you to lose weight. Your biorhythms also control other areas of your physiology, including your metabolism, digestion, and hormone production. Overall, there is a lot to gain from exposing yourself to the early morning light if you want to get your metabolism up and running early. Before we look at our number one tip, for more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified when we upload a new video. Number one have a sleep-friendly snack. We know we said eating late is not good, but hear us out. It's common knowledge that a large percentage of people indulge in late-night eating. And if you have had the privilege of speaking to any dietitian about it, they must have told you that late-night eating is bad for weight loss. Studies carried out have shown that people who eat heaviest at night are most likely going to have their biorhythms out of sync, leading to lots of weight gain. Although it's bad for our health, Knocking off the habit of late night eating can be very difficult, but there's a way to be smart about it. The key is eating low carbohydrate or low fat snacks. A couple of studies have shown that protein rich late night snacks do not contribute to weight gain. In fact, they are more likely to promote your metabolism, promoting weight loss. So if you will grab any bedtime snacks before hitting the bed, go for protein based snacks. Avoid snacks with caffeine and artificial sugars as much as possible as these would mess around with the quality of your sleep. So there you have it, seven tips to turn your daily naps into a sleep workout. Remember to combine this with regular exercise and healthy eating for the best results. With these, you are well on your way to shedding those extra pounds. If you enjoyed this video, let us know by clicking the like button down below. Also comment down below which of these seven tips you'll be implementing into your sleep right away. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.